In this video, we're going to see how assignments inside conditionals work. Control structures like if statements and while loops use expressions that evaluate to Boolean values. For example, here we have an array with three items. We're using the count function to get the number of items in the array, and we're assigning this number to this quantity variable. In this case, it will contain the integer value of 3. We then use that variable as the condition for the if statement. If the value of this variable evaluates to true, then the code inside the block will be executed, printing out this message. When an integer is converted to boolean, 0 is considered to be false, and every other value is considered to be true. So in this case, the condition will be true, and the code inside the block will be executed. And if we run this code, that is indeed what happens, and we get the message printed out. What we're doing here is first assigning a value to the quantity variable, then using that value in the if statement. However, it's also possible to assign a value to the variable inside the condition itself. So let's move this line to inside the if condition. This code will execute in the same way. If the value assigned to the quantity variable evaluates to true, then the block will be executed. And if we run it again, we do get the same result. However, there's some potential confusion here in that it's not immediately clear what this code does. What is the condition that is evaluated? Is it the successful assignment? The return value of this function? Maybe even a previous value of this variable? The actual answer is the Boolean value of this entire expression is whatever value is assigned to the variable. For this reason, it's generally a good idea to avoid assignments inside conditionals like this. The code might be shorter, but it's arguably not as readable and can lead to hard-to-find errors. Let's look at another example. Again, here we have an array with three items, and we're assigning the number of items to the quantity variable, which again is the integer value of 3. Now, however, we have an if statement with a condition that compares the value of this variable to 5. If it's equal to 5, then the block is executed, and this message is printed out. Otherwise, the else block is executed, and this message is printed out. So if we run this as it is, we expect the else block message to be shown as 3 is not equal to 5. And when we do run this, this is exactly what happens as expected. In the condition, we're using the equality operator, which is two equal signs. However, it would be quite easy to make the mistake of just one equal sign, like this. In this case, as we saw with the previous example, the Boolean value of this entire expression is whatever is assigned to this variable, which will be the value of 5. The Boolean equivalent of 5 is true, so the code in the if block will be executed which is indeed what happens when we run it. However, this is wrong. We're not comparing the value of quantity to 5, which is what we wanted to do. Instead, we're assigning the value of 5 to this variable. So the code won't be executing as we want. No matter what the array contains, this if block will always execute, because 5 evaluates to true. As you're allowed to do assignments inside conditionals like this, PHP won't show this as an error, it just won't work the way it's expected to. 
Having said that, some code editors will warn you if you try and assign a value to a variable inside a condition like this. One way to get around this is to invert the order of the items being compared. Like this. If we use the comparison operator and we then run this code, it works as expected. We're still making the same comparison, but if we put the assignment operator instead of the comparison operator, like this, now if we run the code, we get an error. This technique works with both literal values and also functions. By putting the literal value or function first, if you accidentally use one equals sign instead of two, then you'll get an error when you try and run the code, so that you know you should be using a comparison operator instead. If you get into the habit of never assigning a value inside a conditional like this, then you don't need to use that technique of changing the order. So let's change this back which, although is two lines of code, as compared to one, is much clearer. So in general, it's best practice to avoid the assignment operator inside conditions.